Right, so we've got the majority of the face done. Now I'm just going to, as you can see, it's, it's pretty nice if you look at us. But you can see all this brown gunk along the front here. So we're going to get rid of some of that. Quite often dogs suck hair into their mouth. So finger, this does not work for dogs that bite. But finger underneath the, the lip, between the teeth and the lip. So I know my finger's there. I won't nick her because my finger's in the way. And I'm just going to scissor along there. And I'm going to pull the hair out. And because I'm lifting the gum away from her, I can safely scissor along there and get all the hair out. So you can see half done, big difference. This will stop her licking, licking all the time. And quite often this brown gunk is just because they're licking the hair all the time. So if we just take that away from the mouth, like so. So she's still a little bit brown, so obviously we've got a little bit more stuff going on on this side. Now I can cheat a little bit and just trim it a fraction. The other thing I'll do, so you can see there's a brown stain here. Hers is pretty good actually. Some dogs get a lot of muck and a lot of brown stain in there. So we just scissor in there and I'm using the little round ended scissors. Now here we go, here's some gunk. Didn't quite get washed out with a bath. Now gone. And she, she's not like it. lots of dogs get gunk there. It's because you've got a fold in the skin there. It's quite natural. We just trim it down so not there. Then we put our face down and one face. So how's that from the original face we did? Right, tail. Funny, we going to do your tail now? <gasps> Come on, I want to have a look at your tail please. Thank you. Right. I know you're very upset with me, aren't you? Because we're still doing it. Right, now, her tail looks like it's been hacked a little bit at some stage. We're going to do the tip of the tail. I know her tail, her physical tail ends here, so this is all hair. And I'm running my fingers down it, so it fishes there. I'm going to twist it and trim that up. So we instantly have a slightly better tail now. Create a fan. I'm holding it at the tip there, and we're just going to shape it around a little bit. So when she brings her tail up to wag, we should have a nice fan now. One tail done. Now, I'm going to just tidy under here. Because it's a toilet area, we don't want the hair sticking out too much, but at the same time we want to keep it, um, we don't want it naked either, because that'll be a bit cold. So, and the tail's done. I'm going to do the legs. So I'm going to do a back leg to start with. Let's get rid of them for starters. So I'm just doing my normal end up tidy up thing. We've already clipped the legs, so hopefully there won't be too much going on. By brushing upwards, which you do not do as a norm, we can see any hair that sticks out is longer than the rest. So. Again, I know a few groomers that don't do this at the end because it takes time. But my, my concern is the care of the animal, primarily, and to give the dog the time the care it needs. So, she's still got a buffy head. We haven't taken much off, as you can see, by the stuff left on the table. And we've got a neat leg. I'll just do that there as well. Right, and we've got three more legs to do. So we'll do a front leg first. We've got a little knot in there, haven't we? We need to get that one out. We'll have to get the clippers on that one, I think. A little knot right in the corner under here. And when it's right against the skin in such a delicate area, you don't want to be using scissors because you can nick them. Nope, still miss them. I'm just going to go by feel. I'm actually running the clippers up against my finger. And, although it doesn't look like much, there's your mat. It's tiny. That's what she was complaining about. Doesn't take much for a dog to let you know that there's a knot there. 
And that's what's brilliant about these combs. You can see mine's comb's got a little bit of wear and tear on it. Um, the comb will tell you if there's any knots in there. Okay, and that's what she was telling me a minute ago. So, if we use, and there's another little one in there, you see? Got it. Oi, come here, thank you. I know it's sore. Good girl. Do we get it all? Now this is one area that um, a lot of owners miss because of the fact that it's such a fiddly area and the dogs don't like you being in there. As you can see, she told me off. Um, she was very nice about it. She was just going, oh, excuse me, that hurt. Or it has the potential to hurt. So I've just been very gentle about getting it out. And the problem with leaving even that tiny little knot that was there, those little knots get bigger. And then you'll end up, by the time we see a dog again, that'd be a big mess. So, brushed it up. Down the front. No, oh, you tend to face the camera, good girl. Can I have that leg since you're sitting down? Can I have that leg? Thank you. Good girl. You notice I just put her nose up. I don't like having noses coming too close to scissors because dogs are really quick with their tongues and tongues and scissors really do not mix very well at all. So I like them to keep their, their noses away for safety reasons. And one leg done.